Hello there, welcome to another edition of the Library Marketing Show. I'm Angela Hirsch from superlibrarymarketing.com and my mission is to help make library marketing easier and more efficient for you. And today's video is about breaking the rules and admitting when you're maybe wrong, but also being a little subversive. So here's what I mean. This video happened because I was having a conversation with my friend Chris. Hey Chris, from Jacksonville, Florida. And he was talking about an article he read about Twitter reposting the same post multiple times on Twitter. And he read that it's against Twitter policy. And I was like, what? It is? I didn't know that. And I've been tweeting for like 11 years. I had no idea. So of course I freaked out a little bit and then I started researching and I found out that, oh yes, according to Twitter policy, posting the same content repeatedly is violating their policy. Oops. So here's the thing. Um, I spent about two weeks researching this and figuring out, am I going to get in trouble for doing this? Because I do it all the time on my Twitter account. And I have consulted with various libraries and told them to do it and did it at my own library when I worked at the Public Library of Cincinnati in Hamilton County. And here's what I found out. So yes, technically it is against their policy to post the same content multiple times on Twitter. However, you're only going to get in trouble if somebody reports you. And that's only going to happen if you are repeatedly tweeting things that are offensive or upsetting to someone, which I don't think most libraries are doing. And so my su suggestion to you is to actually repeat treats, tweets strategically, say that five times fast. Here's what I mean by this. And here's what's worked for me for the past five years working with super library marketing and other libraries. I don't repost the same thing more than once a day. I may post it a couple of times a week, and then I may post it again once a month throughout the year, but I don't post the same thing multiple times a day. There are a lot of brands out there that are doing the same thing. My strategy came out of doing it many times and figuring out where I get the best engagement. And the reason I retweet the same promotion more than once, well, actually there's a couple of reasons. One is the algorithm. We never know when a thing is going to get shown to our followers. Secondly, Twitter is constantly churning content and you have to make sure that your stuff gets in front of people wherever they are. Third is I have a pretty diverse audience and your library may as well. They're on Twitter many different times during the day. They're not always on Twitter during business hours. And so we want to make sure that our tweet is getting in front of an audience. So I'll tweet not only maybe three times a week, but at completely different times of the day, including like three o'clock in the morning. And my stuff still gets um, results. People still end up on my website because they see the, the tweet. Here's the thing. So you're doing it strategically, but you're also using a ratio. And I like the 30-30-30 rule, which means 30% of the time my tweets are um, promotional for my website. 30% of the time they are retweets and 30% of the time they're engagement oriented. So there's something else that I'm tweeting that's not related to promoting me that I'm just doing to start a conversation. And I find this ratio works really well. So, you know, sometimes you gotta break the rules. Libraries, we already have so many hurdles um, in our way for our promotions. I think that repeating tweets is okay. You're not gonna get in trouble unless somebody reports you. If you're out there reporting a library for tweeting repeatedly, you should be ashamed of yourself. All right, today's kudos goes to the, I have to read this, the State Archives and Records Authority of New South Wales. They have an online jigsaw puzzle. It's very difficult for me to explain, but it's the coolest thing I've ever seen. And I really, if your library is retweeting other content for people stuck at home for COVID, this is a great place to go to get this jigsaw puzzle and they're allegedly working on other models. I'm going to put a link in the show notes to this episode, which are at superlibrarymarketing.com. I'm looking for topics for upcoming shows. You can click on the library marketing show tab and you can nominate someone for kudos. Check out all the other stuff on superlibrarymarketing.com. Thanks for watching, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next week.